All right, we're gonna show you how our main guide starts to fire. I got this stick to go launch in it. <clears throat> Sometimes I just use a Y stick and stick in the ground like that. And then you wanna start small and work big. So we got this birch bark, white birch bark, paper bark. I'm gonna start putting some of that down here. You can see I've had a fire here before. It's been raining the last few weeks here in Maine and uh, it can be difficult getting a fire going. Uh, the bottom of that thing is wet. But I think we get enough bark and tinder going on this and I think she'll go. So I start with just a little bit of that. Something that will take a flame meter. You can hit that with a spark to go. If you're really concerned about getting that going, you can stuff a cotton ball in there. I don't have any cotton with me right now. You know, dipped in wax, that type of thing. And then I like to use these little, you know, twigs I call them. You know, I guess, uh, you know, the <coughs> pencil lead size, they, they say. And then I work them in here, set one, get one laid in here, like that, to hold it, and a few more. And you're going to start laying this up like an Indian with a teepee. And then you're going to move up to little bigger pieces, like this right here, around both sides. You'll see that it'll collapse a little bit, but this method, it's going to be all right. What you really want is to make sure you've got air circulation so when you get that paper going in there, that birch back, it's going to come. And so you move up to a little bigger stuff. You can see I've got stuff that's pencil and sides and whatnot. And this is all stuff that's been up off the ground. It's dry or dry ash. It's, you know, it's been damp around here. And just keep working yourself up. And what happens when you build a fire like this, it's <coughs> oxygen will come in the bottom and the fire goes up, you know, the heat rises up the top, and it starts to create its own vacuum. And uh, it'll be its own inferno. And so, if you want to get a fire going quick, I find the teepee fire works the best. And this method, I think, you'll find will work. I don't care if it's, it's in a downpour. You, This method works damn near every time. I've never had it fail. So then you move on to some bigger stuff. And bigger, just keep laying up like that. And you just, you got a spot right in there. You can still get your lighter in there to get that started, your flame. That's all you need now is a, something for a flame to get it going with. And uh, hold back, whatnot, anything to kind of help <coughs> hold the heat in, get it working up. And you'll find this method works really good. So when you get to that point, you've got your fire away. Now all you need is a way to get it. Ignited. And uh, what main guy? Didn't have a